I'm a bit gutted because I'm wearing a really cute top that has Barbie on it, but cropping problems. Anyway. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to today's video. So it's no secret that Lazy Oaf are up there with my like top three favourite brands of all time. And recently I've been a little bit more obsessed than usual. <laughs> As in I've had a bit of a splurge so I've got some of the stuff that's from the brand new autumn winter 17 collection I've got stuff from Hello Kitty I've got stuff from the summer collection and then I've got some stuff from the sample sale that I went to so if you're interested in that stay tuned so I'm gonna start with the newest first this I think you would have already seen in my favorites video I believe but this is from the Autumn Winter 2017 collection and I am just obsessed with it. And it is this gorgeous pastel striped, like really long oversized turtleneck jumper and it's such a thick, lovely knit. This was... I want to say it was £75 but... It might have been more, I really don't remember. Yeah, I actually ordered um, that and then the cloud shirt and the pink spoil hoodie. But those were both 75 each and I really didn't feel like the quality was worth that much when I got it and I was so disappointed. Their long um, shirts have been my like favourite item of theirs since I first found them as a brand. And... They've always been this lovely light material that's like easy to wear, super soft, super comfy. And then this felt like a plastic bag, honestly, like the cloud shirt. I got it and it just, the material was just horrible. And I tried it on four times on different days at different times of the day um, because I was determined to fall in love with it. And I just didn't and I couldn't justify keeping something that I didn't really love for 75 quid so I had to send it back and same with the hoodie it was really rough on the inside um, turned up and it was short and it was rough and I didn't think it was worth 75 quid so that was a shame these next two things I've been wearing non-stop they've been my favorite like things to wear when it's been hot and I actually bought these from ASOS um, back in the day whenever I used to order from Lazy Oaf I knew I'd never been never be sending stuff back so I never knew that their returns policy, and I mean it might have changed, maybe it has, but their returns policy now is that you have to pay to return things to them um, and they take so long to refund you and they don't email you to tell you they've got your parcel, which gives me anxiety. Um, I just wish everyone would take a leaf out of ASOS's book because I think they do returns the best, like the free post bag, the thing you fill out is really simple and straightforward, you put the sticker on the front, take it to the post office, and Bob's your uncle and they give you the refund. They email you as soon as they've received it saying, hi, we got your return parcel. And then they refund you straight away. And it's just like, why can't every company be like that? So I actually ordered these off ASOS instead of going through the Lazy Off website because if I didn't like them, because I was worried about the quality, uh, I could return them easy. But I love them. So first is this rainbow dress, which a lot of people, I think this is a very popular item in the like rainbow stuff when this came out i did also love the little top but i just think with my boobs i just don't just don't think it was for me <laughs> um, but this i absolutely love i love the like fullness of the bottom i love that it's got pockets you know how much i love dresses with pockets that's like my fave thing um i love the little love heart i love the colors like how bright it is and vibrant i just adore it i love it it's so comfy and actually these this and the next item I'm going to show you were the opposite in that when I got them I thought the quality was better than I was expecting to be honest so yes yeah, very happy with that this was the other item that I got from ASOS and again it was full price uh, from their like summer stuff and it is the pink gingham lunchtime dress <laughs> I just love it I just think it's lovely and it's exactly the same like skater style with the pockets and it's just such a lovely thick stretchy material um i just adore it i think it's like just beautiful these next lot of items were from the sample sale um i have now been to four sample sales i think yeah i think this was my or fifth 
I think this was my fourth uh, sample sale. Um, I will say this time I was actually the most disappointed I've ever been. Um, I always, and I'm not, I just, I don't understand the people that like moan on, <laughs> on uh, online about the sample sales in terms of like, the people at the front of the queue get there at literally like 5am, they book hotels, they plan way in advance, like, and then people that turn up at like 3 in the afternoon expect there to be like loads of stock and at the end of the day they're a business and if they can sell out everything in an hour, that's what they're going to want to do and like, I just think with any sample sale, especially when the like, um, stock is that good and the prices are that slashed, you have to get there, like, some people at some some brand sample sales get there the night before and camp out, like, that's how extreme we're talking, and if that's not for you, that's not for you and that's fine, but I don't really think you can moan if you turn up at three in the afternoon and there's not much left, like, I don't know what you expect. We got there this time at, like, six in the morning, and we were, I'd say probably tenth group in the queue. Um, between like one and we were between like five and tenth group in the queue but some groups were like big groups but yeah maybe I'll make a video for you guys if you do want to see that about like lazy earth sample sale tips and like how to do it and what to expect the first thing I got was this t-shirt that's the pink stripey just round neck tee big and baggy and it says not right now this was really popular I think when this was out it's just one size I love all the t-shirts that are one size because like I'm plus size and they still are oversized on me um, not as oversized as they are obviously on the tiny models but I love it that's another thing if you are plus size don't think that you can't wear lazy over stuff because I know that they say that like the biggest size they go up to is like a 14 but it bloody isn't trust me um yeah so I just love the colors and I had to have that this item is really funny because this is one of the main things that I um denied about and nearly put back and now I'm like why would I have done that I think it's because I said to myself before I went in that I didn't want more t-shirts because I've got so many of their t-shirts now and I actually wanted more dresses uh, cardigans and shirts but I ended up getting mainly t-shirts <laughs> so I think that's why but um yeah I this is I've worn this probably the most out of everything I got and I absolutely adore it and it's this gorgeous pink t-shirt with this ruffle all the way around it and love hearts and I just think that's lovely and again that's one size and I just love that shade of pink they do really get their pastels right don't they lazy oaf um yeah the ruffle is just so cute it looks even cuter when it's on like because on your shoulders it kind of does stick out um so yeah I adore that I got a couple of Disney items. They had a lot of Disney items, but it was all the stuff I already have. <laughs> um, so, never mind. Um, but I, they had a whole table full of the Marie caps that have got the blue little um, ribbon at the back. And it's again, it's just one size and it's got Marie on the front. And I wore this the day I went to get Cleo and now that's what it reminds me of. Um, but yeah, I love that. I actually got told off by a rheumatologist the other day because he said I need to actually wear hats like every day in summer. So I picked up that hat deliberately for that reason. This is the second uh, Disney item I got and I did want this at the time but I bought so much of it that I couldn't, I couldn't, I had to pick and choose, you know, you can't afford to buy. Unless you're a millionaire, you're not buying the whole of any Lazy Oaf collection. Um, but again, this was the only one that was left and someone had already trampled on it, tried it on. And I haven't actually had a chance to wash it yet or anything. So it's got some like dirty makeup marks here. So thank you to the girl who did that. Um, this, see, this was £20. I'm actually shocked at myself that I bought it. Um, but it's because it's Disney, but this was £20. I swear to God, all of the t-shirts, it doesn't matter what brand they were, they were always used to be a five or a tenner. Now they're 20 quid, so it's double the price. But it's the Cruella de Vil t-shirt. There she is, being sassy and fabulous. And I just love that this had the frilly sleeves. It's a bit different for their t-shirts. I'm all about frills at the moment, and having that one with the frills here, and this with the frills on the sleeves, I just love it. But yeah, it's just nice and oversized. I think this is one size as well. Yeah, it is. And I love that. This was actually the only item that I got that was on my wish list before the sample sale. I normally always have like a little wish list, but it's not solid. And I often buy 
I always buy more than that. Um, even the first few times that I got everything on my wish list, I also got loads of other stuff. Because I do think, like, you don't... You don't necessarily know that what's going you don't know what's going to be in there so how can you know really what you want out of what's there so anyway this was something that i specifically said if it's in there i'm buying it and it is the game over t-shirt i nearly bought this the week before the sample sale full price off their website because i thought it was going to sell out and then i I said to Ben, do you think I should wait? Do you think it'll be at the sample sale? And he did say, normally they do have lots of t-shirts, so I would wait. And I was like, yes, good idea. I don't have the price on it because I have worn it. But this is one size as well. I love these, like, this sleeve and collar. It's like a sailory vibe, I think. But this is what sold it to me when I first saw it on the website. It's like 3D, like fluffy. Oh, and the pastels are just perfect, aren't they? I love that. And it's so nice and long, actually. That's, like, longer than their other T-shirts. I'd kind of say it's a T-shirt dress. I mean, because of my massive tits, it's not quite a dress on me. But it's, it is definitely longer than the T-shirts. This is the only uh, dress I actually got. And it is the pink introvert dress. Um, sorry, it's a bit crinkled. But it's pink and black and it's like got buttons up the front and then it's like skater style with this along the bottom and it's got pockets and this is medium to large which is what I always get. If I can get like extra large or large but I would basically just get whatever the item comes in biggest. Um, and this was £20. So that's not bad for a dress for a sample sale. Uh, it doesn't do up properly across my boobs. So, but I still think it looks cute with a little vest top underneath and having it undone. So I'm like reluctant to sell it on. Um, but yeah, it doesn't quite fit how it's meant to fit, but that's fine. I just think it's so adorable. And again, this gives me sailor vibes, but also gives me like works in a 50s diner vibes. Does it give you that? I love that. That's like one of my favourite vibes. <laughs> this was one of those things that, every, you know, every time I've been, I go with my boyfriend and every single time there's been something that he picks up that he just thinks i'll like and it's when i come away and i try it on it ends up being one of my favorite things that i got from the sale and also he's picked up some of the, my f ultimate like wish list items he's the one that's found them so that's why he always comes with me this was something that i was like i'm not sure about and then i got it home and i was like so glad you know why I wasn't sure? Because it was boiling hot that day and in there it gets boiling hot and having any knitwear was like, oh, the thought of like just holding it was annoying me because it was hot and bothered and the thought of trying it on was making me feel ill. But when I got it home and then tried it on on a rainy day, I was like, oh, I'm so glad you made me get it because I love it. It's this jumper that's like lilac and it's like big and baggy and boxy. But I don't remember they, let me know if they did actually make this like mass production because I don't remember it ever being for sale, but maybe it was. But it says ju <laughs> juicy melons on it. <laughs> and it's got little watermelons. And then one of the little watermelons has got eyes like this. The, um, to be fair, the writing is not great, which obviously it's a sample sale. So that's what happens sometimes. But this was 20 quid. But I love the like relaxed neck. I love the colour. I love the fact that it's a bit cheeky and says juicy melons when I've got such massive boobs. I think that's hilarious. So thanks, babe, for finding this one for me and convincing me to get it. I actually, it's one of my favourite things. I know a lot of people have a problem with the quality of some of the cardigans recently with Lazy Oaf, but I actually think their cardigans. Are some of their best quality stuff um they're so thick knitted and warm in winter i live in them like last winter i lived in my red mickey mouse one. Oh my god and then this one i don't ever wear black and it's funny because ben i took this over to ben he actually said to me <laughs> i walked straight past that whole aisle because it was black and i just thought you're never gonna want all the black stuff and then i was like yeah but this is kind of cool and it's always good to have a black cardigan um it can just go with everything and yeah i just thought it was cool to have something that was a bit darker and it is this lovely love me not black big chunky knit cardigan and it's one size and it's huge and great and i love it and i've actually worn it a couple times already um 
yeah I'm not really ever one to wear black but if it's lazy oaf I'll make an exception this last item is the only item I got out of the lazy oaf hello kitty collection I loved it all but I just couldn't I didn't have the money at the time and then I waited and waited until I did have money and then when I got money I could only really pick one thing and then sold out of my size in the hoodie and actually to this day they still don't have my size back in so if you know anyone that's selling an extra large hello kitty hoodie i want it let me know i will buy it um but i yeah nowhere's got them back in stock uh but i i'm denied about this and wasn't sure if it was really my style and wasn't sure and then i was like oh you know what i'll order it and i can always send it back and then when i got it i was so glad because i think it's lovely it's this waffle like knit long sleeve hello kitty top it's got red sleeves i wore this in my life update video it's got these lovely like little blue buttons and all over it's just got hello kitty symbols so it's got her face it's got an apple it's got a daisy and a love heart and it says hello kitty i just think it's adorable why is the tag still in this when I've worn it? <laughs> oh, you know I do that all the time. And again, I got this in medium to large. And actually, is this not like major Sunday morning chilling on your sofa vibes? Because that's what I feel like it is with your hair in a messy bun. It's really long as well, which I love. I just think when it gets colder, that is going to be so nice. Also, I have images of wearing it underneath like a dress. So the arms are just on show and I think that would be adorable. So that is everything I bought from Lazio recently. I, I didn't obviously buy this all in one whack. The um, sample sale was back in July or June. I can't remember. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload three brand new videos every single week on a Tuesday, Friday and a Sunday. And yeah, let me know what your favourite item is that I've bought recently. I love chatting with you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I'll see you again soon. Bye.